again, what we're asking ourselves, sine of what angle equals negative 1 half? Sine of what angle is equal to negative 1 half? Right? So then we think, well, when does sine equal negative 1 half? So I go back again to my understanding of the unit circle. If sine is negative, it has to be down here on the unit circle. You guys agree with me on that, right? And there's only two points. They have the same reference angle as this one, which is at pi over 6, which is this one, square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. So since I know that first quadrant very well, then I know if these have the same reference angle as that, then these two angles must be, what is this one? All right, 7 pi over 6. And then this one is? Right, and then I just realized I'm doing the exact same answer as what we did. <laughs> 11 pi over 6, and this is 7 pi over 6. Right? So we look at our answers and we say 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6 make this true. But the problem is when we look at the inverse sine function, though, neither of those answers are, are within the range. Right? So we have to work within our restriction. And our restriction of sine inverse is our angles have to be between negative pi halves and pi halves. So, so we can't use either of these angles because they both go outside of the restriction. We have to remain in the restriction in which we already talked about then. We have to use a negative version of the angle to get to down to this point. Because this is the only, ang this is the only point that would lie within the first and second quadrant. And that's why the answer is negative pi over 6. Why not pi over 6? Because pi over 6 gives you 1 half. We're taking the sine inverse of negative 1 half. Oh, okay. So if it's negative, it has to be down here. Not if it was positive, then if it was positive, if I said, what is the sine inverse of 1 half, your answer is pi over 6. Okay. 